Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem on whole numbers. It says, Dave and Ellie bought some DVDs and paid $96 altogether. Okay. If Ellie bought 10 more DVDs than Dave, 10 more DVDs than Dave, and paid 20 more than him, $20 more than him, find the number of DVDs that Dave bought. Okay, so there are three things given to us that Dave and Ellie bought some DVDs and paid $96 altogether. So the total sum of money that they paid was $96. Now, Ellie bought 10 more DVDs than Dave. So the number of DVDs that Ellie bought was 10 more than Dave's. And she paid nine, she paid $20 more than Dave, okay, for those extra DVDs that she bought for the 10 more DVDs that she bought. So here, let's start with a, let's start with a model diagram, okay? So let's make a model that represents the, um, the sum of money that Dave spent on the DVDs, okay? So let's say this is how much Dave spent on the DVDs. Then how much did Ellie spend on DVDs? Well, obviously Ellie spent 20 more dollars than Dave did. So her bar is gonna be a little longer than Dave's. So let's say, let's say this is how much Ellie spent. So if this is Dave's, and then this will be Ellie's, okay? Okay, so let's color Ellie's bar with purple and let's color Dave's bar with blue, okay? So what we have here is that Ellie bought, Ellie and Dave, they spent $96 altogether. So this is 96, which is the blue bar plus the purple bar together is 96, okay? Uh, and Ellie spent $20 more than uh, Dave. So if we mark this dotted lines, which means that the purple bar from here until here is the same as Dave's bar, Dave's blue bar, then this part of the purple bar, which is from the dotted lines until the end, is equal to $20. Okay, so this is $20. This is $20 and this is for 10 DVDs, right? Because she bought 10 more DVDs than Dave. So this is $20 for 10 DVDs. So now what do we have from here? We have that the blue bar and the purple bar are equal to $96 altogether. And the difference between them is $20 and that's for 10 DVDs. So then how much is the blue bar? Okay, so that's question mark. That's what we have to find out. That's unknown. So let's uh, let's handle this part now first. That twenty dollars that uh, Ellie spent twenty dollars more than Dave, and she bought ten DVDs more than Dave. Okay, so what does that tell you? Well, that tells you that ten DVDs cost twenty dollars. So ten DVDs cost twenty dollars, and how much does one DVD cost? Well. If 10 DVDs cost $20, then one DVD obviously costs $20 divided by 10, and that's equal to $2. So let's highlight this, that the cost of one DVD is equal to $2. But what else do we have from here? Well, we have that Dave and Ellie together, they spent $96. And that Ellie spent $20 more than Dave. So let's do some calculations. So if we subtract $20 from $96, what do we get? We get $76. And what does $76 represent? Well, what we have here is the blue bar and the purple bar. Look, look now if you remove this part of the purple bar, let me use another color, okay? So if you remove this part of the purple bar, from the model diagram, what do you get? You get this blue block, uh, this blue block is equal to this purple block, excluding this uh, purple part, okay? So the difference, if you remove $20, then what you get is two times the blue bar, right? This purple bar until here, until the dotted line is equal to the blue bar from here, to here is equal to the blue bar. So what you have is two times the Dave, the amount of money that Dave spent 
is equal to $96 minus $20, right? So 96 minus 20 is equal to 76. That's how much, that's twice of how much Dave spent. So then we can say that two units are equal to $76, right? 96 minus $20. So then how much is one unit? So one unit is obviously equal to 76 divided by 2 and that is equal to $38. So what do we get here? We get that the question mark, the blue bar, is equal to $38. Well, that's the amount of money that Dave spent. But what's the question asked of you? The question is, find the number of DVDs that Dave bought. So then how many DVDs did Dave buy? He spent $32 and each DVD costs $2. So let's highlight these two things. We have already highlighted the $2, which is the cost of one DVD. And let's highlight the $38, which is how much money Dave spent, right? So if Dave spent $38 on the DVDs and each DVD cost $2, then how many DVDs did uh, Dave buy? Well, Dave bought 38 divided by 2, and that's equal to 19 units. So Dave bought... 19 DVDs. So the question, find the number of DVDs that Dave bought. The answer to that is Dave bought 19 DVDs. Right? Well, that's the, that's that about uh, this question, this word problem. For more word problems and for more practice exercises, visit www.homecampus.com. That's one word, homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.